Think back to your school days. Remember the countless hours spent in classrooms, surrounded by peers, and guided by teachers. All those hours spent in classrooms, absorbing information, taking notes, and preparing for exams. Did you ever stop and ask yourself, amidst all the learning and studying, how is any of this going to make me rich? How will these lessons translate into real-world financial success? It's a question many of us have pondered, often in moments of frustration or curiosity. We spend years in the education system, moving from one grade to the next, aiming for that coveted diploma. Yet we often graduate without the essential skills needed to navigate the complex world of money, skills that are crucial for our financial well-being. Traditional education, while valuable in many ways, frequently falls short when it comes to financial literacy. It provides a foundation, but misses key practical elements. We're taught about history, science, and literature, all important subjects, no doubt. These subjects enrich our minds and broaden our perspectives. But where are the lessons on investing, managing debt, or understanding how to build wealth? These are the lessons that could change our financial futures. The reality is that most schools don't prioritize these crucial life skills. Financial education is often an afterthought, if it's included at all. They focus on preparing students for standardized tests and college applications, emphasizing academic achievement over practical financial knowledge. This often neglects the practical knowledge needed to thrive financially in the real world. Knowledge that could prevent financial stress and hardship. This lack of financial education leaves many graduates ill-equipped to handle their personal finances, let alone build long-term wealth. They struggle with basic financial tasks. They enter adulthood without a solid understanding of how money works, how to save, invest, or even budget effectively. They are left to figure it out on their own, often making costly mistakes along the way. This leaves them vulnerable to financial struggles and missed opportunities, impacting their quality of life and future prospects. Imagine this, you ace your history exam, knowing the dates of every major battle and the names of all the kings and queens. You feel on top of the world, confident in your academic prowess, but then reality hits. You can't balance your checkbook or understand how credit card interest works. The skills you need to manage your finances seem foreign and confusing. This is the unfortunate reality for many graduates who leave the traditional education system financially unprepared. They step into the real world with a wealth of academic knowledge, but a deficit in practical financial skills. Schools often focus on rote memorization and theoretical concepts, which, while important, don't necessarily translate into real-world financial success. The emphasis is on passing exams rather than understanding practical applications. You can graduate with honors in literature, but still struggle to understand basic investment principles or the importance of saving. The gap between academic achievement and financial literacy is glaring. The education system often prioritizes academic achievement over practical life skills. Awards and accolades are given for academic excellence, but there's little recognition for mastering essential life skills. Students are encouraged to excel in subjects that may not directly translate to financial success, while financial literacy is often relegated to an elective course or completely ignored. This leaves a significant gap in their education. This disconnect between traditional education and real-world financial literacy leaves many graduates feeling lost and overwhelmed when faced with managing their own money. They are thrust into a world of financial responsibilities without the necessary tools to navigate it. They may excel in the classroom, but struggle to navigate the complexities of personal finance. The transition from academic success to financial independence is often fraught with challenges and confusion. Let's face it, textbooks and exams don't teach you how to manage your money, build a business, or invest wisely. These are crucial skills that are often overlooked in the traditional education system. The traditional education system often prioritizes theoretical knowledge over practical skills, focusing on subjects that may not directly impact our daily lives. This leaves students unprepared for the financial realities of life after graduation, such as managing bills, understanding taxes, and planning for retirement. Instead of learning about compound interest and the power of investing, which can significantly impact one's financial future, 
We're busy memorizing historical dates and solving complex equations. While these subjects have their place in a well-rounded education, they won't help you negotiate a salary, understand your credit score, or avoid common financial pitfalls. Financial literacy is essential for making informed decisions about spending, saving, and investing. Imagine if schools dedicated as much time to teaching financial literacy as they do to algebra or grammar. Students would be better equipped to handle real-world financial challenges. Students would graduate with a solid understanding of how to manage their money, create budgets, and plan for their financial future. They would know how to invest wisely and build a secure financial future for themselves and their families. It's time to bridge the gap between textbooks and paychecks, ensuring that financial education is a core part of the curriculum. Financial education is not a luxury. It's a necessity for anyone who wants to achieve financial independence and avoid the pitfalls of financial illiteracy. By prioritizing financial literacy, we can empower the next generation to make smarter financial decisions and lead more secure, prosperous lives. Section four, from algebra to assets, a curriculum makeover. Let's get real. How many times have you used the Pythagorean theorem in your daily life? Now, how often do you deal with money? It's time for a curriculum makeover, one that replaces outdated concepts with essential financial skills. Imagine a classroom where alongside history and science, students learn about budgeting, investing, and entrepreneurship. They graduate not just with diplomas, but with the confidence and knowledge to navigate the financial world. Instead of memorizing historical dates, they're analyzing stock trends. Instead of dissecting Shakespearean sonnets, they're crafting business plans. This shift in focus equips them with practical skills that are directly applicable to their lives. It's not about replacing traditional education, it's about enhancing it with crucial financial knowledge. By integrating financial literacy into the core curriculum, we empower students to achieve financial success and security. Section five, financial IQ, your secret weapon to wealth. In the real world, your financial IQ is just as important as your academic IQ. It's the difference between making your money work for you and working paycheck to paycheck, yet it's a subject often overlooked in traditional education. Financial literacy is about understanding how money works. It's about making informed decisions about spending, saving, investing, and managing debt. It's about building a secure financial future for yourself and your family. Think of it as your secret weapon in the game of life. A high financial IQ empowers you to make smart choices with your money, avoid common financial pitfalls, and achieve your financial goals. It's never too early or too late to start building your financial knowledge. Seek out resources, take courses, and educate yourself about personal finance. The more you know, the better equipped you'll be to create a life of financial freedom. Section six. Don't wait for graduation to learn about money. The problem is most people don't start thinking about money management until they're already drowning in debt or facing financial hardship. Don't wait for a financial crisis to force you into learning these crucial skills. The good news is, you don't have to wait for a formal education to become financially savvy. There are countless resources available online, in libraries, and through community programs. Start by reading books and articles about personal finance. Listen to podcasts and watch documentaries about successful investors and entrepreneurs. The more you expose yourself to financial concepts, the more comfortable you'll become with managing your money. Remember, Financial literacy is not a one-time lesson. It's a lifelong pursuit. Embrace the journey of learning and growing your financial knowledge, and you'll reap the rewards for years to come. Section seven, your financial journey starts now. The traditional education system may not have equipped you with the financial knowledge you need, but it's not too late to take control of your financial future and make a change. Your journey towards financial freedom starts now. Don't let fear or lack of knowledge hold you back from achieving your goals. 
Embrace the challenge of learning about money and investing. Seek out mentors, join communities, and never stop educating yourself. The more you learn, the more empowered you become. Remember, financial literacy is not just about making money. It's about creating a life of freedom, security, and opportunity for yourself and generations to come. Take that first step today. Your future self will thank you immensely.